Yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. Sunday, Monday, people's school. Tuesday, Wednesday, people's school. Thursday, Friday, people's school. The weekend comes. Put up your thumbs. The union's getting able to boot. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to People's School where we smoke government 28 semblin days yeah, a month. Yeah. Had a little echo. This is Lady Justice. <laughs> I'm one of the people I press on. She shines the light of liberty. Be right. You never yeah, know yeah. what's going to happen on People's School. Bonehead, you will get the big brain. Yeah, yeah, floating on a magic carpet over the Pacific Ocean with sharks swimming underneath, but he's fine. He's never died. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, on Sunday, El Presidente posted a call to action uh, regarding the treatment of an autistic boy in Barrow Beach by the Indian River County Sheriff's. And just to refresh everybody's memory, let's um, play a, a part of that clip, Bonehead, from People's School on Monday, um, where we showed what Sam the Man had to say. Now, back to the pressing story at hand, Indian County Sheriff's Department um, trying to hide from the people and tackle autistic boys. Let's see what Sam the Man had to say on Sunday. On Sunday, this is uh, the pressing matter at People's School right now. Um, or did I forget anything else, Bonnet? No, looks like you're on this one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Sam the Man, uh, El Presidente, call to action. Um, let's refresh what happened here. Go ahead and play it. No. Carlos said he was walking around looking in the window. In his own house. How am I supposed to know that? By knocking on the door, sir. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. This is that kind of video that's going to upset you guys. As soon as I seen it, I reached out to the man who recorded it and gave me permission to share it. This family moves into a new house. The autistic son is outside looking in the window. A neighbor calls the cops. Cops get there, and they immediately tackle him after he tries to walk back inside the house. They are rude from the beginning. They don't even identify properly. They're rude to the father when he comes out. They threaten to arrest him. You guys, this is a disturbing video. You guys are going to be truly upset. If you guys get upset, know how to channel your energy. Know how to channel your anger and turn it into action. Let's make some phone calls. Let's take the court of public opinion over to this man's channel and let's show these public officials and these cops that they cannot be doing this to the people. We won't allow it and we won't accept it. This officer needs to be fired, in my opinion. So without further ado, here's your video, folks. Yeah, yeah. So El Presidente asked for action. He asked for phone calls. And that's exactly what Lady Justice did. She uh, called them. Well, on uh, Sunday, we did um, People's School and we got together some talking points um, so that, you know, everybody was on the same page. And come Monday morning, Lady Justice called. And uh, after, you know, making several phone calls and navigating their uh, voice commands, she was able to get a call from Sergeant Price, I believe. Right. And um, we showed that yesterday on People's School. But Bone has, has a clip from that, um, that um, just one part of it, you know. So let's let's play that and and remind ourselves. Or if you have not seen it yet, then get a dose of Lady Justice and her four per assembler stars. Once we call, once we call, 
the subject in We put the subject in handcuffs. Hold on, hold, hold on. Hang on. In, in, no, this con- in this country, we do not have subjects. So please understand that. We do not. That's what we call them because we, we don't know. We don't know who he is. I didn't want to say suspect. Because right now, he's, he's a suspect. He's, he might be doing something wrong. We don't know until we find out. It's easy to look back on this ball in hindsight and go, well, we shouldn't have done this, we shouldn't have done that, we could have done this different. Of course we could. If we lived in a world of hindsight... Well, as soon as your officer became fully aware, in other words, was notified by the father several times in the video, as well as the neighbor who said that he made it, you know, an error, even after that, that officer took that disabled young man from the safety of a new home that he's just now getting into so obviously you know i have worked with disability individuals with disabilities for many years so i understand completely okay autism um if you don't know then why your officer took this individual which he clearly said that he knew something was up as soon as he slapped those handcuffs on so he was heightened he was alerted but even after the father came out and told him repeatedly several times as well as the neighbor came out and said oh i made a great error that officer continued to have that individual with disabilities in handcuffs, not only walked him from the safety of his own yard, uh, but over to the police car, and even threatened the father to have the, to arrest the father if the father didn't step back. And and you know that is inappropriate. Followed up with the father on this. Uh, we've been in contact with the father. We have had now that we know everything that's going on. Uh, we've actually had the disabled young man uh, up at our sheriff's office uh, play, it, you know, uh, letting him play on the helicopters and showing him all the things that we have. Um, we have worked this out and we've used it as a very good training incident. And we've learned a lot from it. It's reinforced our training on it. The situation as far as between the, the sheriff's office and the father has been worked out. And the the father understands what happened and how the the deputy uh, could only act on what information he had. It's not totally out of the realm, ma'am, that when we legitimately arrest somebody for doing something wrong, that family members come out of the house, not in this case, but family members come out of the house and try to interfere and try to do us harm. So to say to family members that are running out of the house, you know, step back, do not interfere, is something that, unfortunately, in today's world, has to be said. Well, and I would agree with you, sir. However, the father had explained it to the officer several times, you know, my son has autism. And this subject was... Funny. He's not a subject, sir. He's not a subject, sir. I do, we man, don't have, just, we don't have subjects just, in this I don't country. know his name. Yeah, ma'am, I don't know his yeah, name. Yeah, Oregon Rose. Call him individual. I'm, I'm, call him an individual. Okay, He's not a subject. I, I, <laughs> we don't have subjects in this country, and that's something law enforcement needs to really understand. All right. Um, all investigations have to have a subject, okay? And that subject for police is supposed to be a crime, okay? Uh, police investigate crimes, not people, certainly not people, not persons, not individuals. They investigate crimes, right? So the crime is the subject. So when an officer says on a police report and calls a person the subject, they're saying that the person is a crime. So they are alleging a crime, right? They do have a subject, but their subject is incorrect, right? And if police are going and calling persons subjects, then that's the first problem. And, um, you know, that's just one of many topics, but, uh, and, and we can't wander too far from the original call, which we still want to get the body cam footage. We still want to get the 911 call, um, you know, in the police report. 
right? But really what we want to know is what was the subject of the investigation? What crime were they investigating, right? Now, yesterday, um, after this call, we had Rights Crispy on. Uh, Bonehead has another clip. Let's hear what Rights Crispy had to say. To be honest, I let a lot of weakness juice squirt Make from my animals. <laughs> I cried a lot watching that, that kid getting attacked. Well, you didn't even have to see it, just to see the aftermath. And the, the total disconnected audacity of this guy on the phone to say, oh, yeah, he wasn't triggered next time we continued right. our... That's some bullshit, man. Like it sounds you, just like the rapist says, "Oh, well, she wasn't complaining when she came over the next time, right? And got raped again." <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They, they have that rapist mentality. They really try to yeah. victim blame and and you know, they're acting like yeah. it's okay what what that cop did. He did not follow procedure, and that's where we could get the cops. You could see some a cop have somebody in handcuffs and okay. applying what they call pain compliance, which is part of their training. So you can't get them for that, but you can get them for this, for tackling somebody. And like you said, a non-consensual conversation. Well, you want to talk to me? No, oh, you're going down. He, he didn't witness a crime. He doesn't know that a crime was afoot reasonably and, and that he could articulate. So he fucked up. He went outside of training, attacked a, a special needs citizen and then threatened his father with arrest a couple of times for trying to rescue him. Which is the point I want to get to right now. I almost forgot, right? Because if uh, one of your family members is arrested, do you lose the right to press? Nope. Nope. And right? that's been the sidewalk to you? Know. you? I mean, you have to interfere before you interfere. Are yeah. you just assumed to interfere because oftentimes family members might interfere? So now what, they have to stay 35 feet away or 47 yep. feet away or how far away do they have to stand? What rights do they lose when one of their family members is uh, tackled and detained for not committing a crime? And it's not about just standing far away. They don't want to be recorded. It's the camera right. that bothers them, not the distance. And you right. see that in that one arrest of the father who was recording his son's traffic stop in his own neighborhood in California where they sprayed him and they tackled him and stuff. He was on the other side of the street on the sidewalk and they just didn't want to be. Yeah, they didn't want to be recorded. And, um, you know, we need to stay focused on the crime, right? Because it looked to me, it sounded to me like uh, Sergeant Price was saying that it was a consensual conversation um, he said the officer came up and said, how are you doing? Can I talk to you? And then he ran, right? Well, that's okay to do in a consensual conversation, right? He didn't claim that he said, you're detained, you're under arrest, stop, don't move, you know. Uh, so, and they didn't have any information of a crime, you know, but they're calling somebody as a subject and that's where they've gotten way off base. So today, um, well, yesterday, Sergeant Price referred Lady Justice to Captain Kit Carson. Is it, that right? Kent, Car uh, Kent Campbell. I think it's oh, Kent. Campbell, yeah. yeah. Captain Campbell. Yeah. And um, in order to get the name of the officer, the original date, the um, you know information about the stop, um, as well as she wanted to also talk about other things. Well, let's see how that call went, Lady Justice. Let's play it. Yeah, yeah. In the County Sheriff's Office, how may we direct your call? Uh, yes, I am trying to return Captain Campbell's call. Okay. Um, he is, I can get his direct line. I'll transfer you. They have to transfer you. He is at 978-6148. Okay, okay, that number again, 978-6148. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Just one moment. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to give you that phone number. 
Good, good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is Captain Campbell. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Um, the reason I was calling you um, is I had some questions that I was wondering if you could possibly answer for me. Um, I was referred to you by um, Sergeant Price. Uh, he and I had a lengthy conversation yesterday. I don't know if he, he spoke to you about that or not, but at any rate, um, today um, what my question is for you is... He kept trying to refer to um, the young gentleman that I was calling him about as a subject. And it's our country here in America. We do not have subjects uh, like, you know, for example, in England, they, they do have subjects. So, uh, Wait, yeah, I've got a meeting here in just about uh, seven minutes. So, okay. Yeah, well, just get to the point. What are you trying to get to? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm wondering why we're calling um, people subjects, and what was the subject? Well, if, if we get a call to a disturbance or we get called to something, it's about it. the person is listed as a subject initially until we determine what their what the position is. They could be a defendant, they could be a victim, they could be a witness, or they could be just a, just a civilian walking along. Okay, I thought uh, the, they can the be subject anything is but innocent. To be the crime. People are not subjects. It's three forty-two p.m. Crime that is the subject. No, 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 not maybe in maybe in your world, but in our world, that's how it's listed as. Hmm. Well, what crime? Yeah, what, what crime was they investigating? Where, where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah. Um, where I'm at is not really a matter. It's I'm a, just, just, I am. The demographics of your area are different than the demographics of our area. And the way we handle things and the way we title things are completely different. What's con considered a burglary here is considered a, a, a theft of a residence or something like that up, up north. So the, we're playing semantics here. What can I help you with? Who cares? What crime was being investigated? The, the boy with autism was being investigated for. That was the whole purpose of my initial phone call. Um, All right. Well, ma'am, ma'am, just so you know, that that was addressed. It's been handled to the father's satisfaction. We've, um, uh, it was a mistake on the neighbor's part, and the, the father did not tell them that A, that he was bringing his son back, or B, that he was back. And well, I so don't think people need was, to be telling their neighbors what their plans are. <laughs> okay. All right. Ma'am, you and I are going to differ on this. We've, we've been handling calls because of some uh, joker that decided to repost that video and put his own narrative to it, uh, so, which is spinning up people like yourself. And we've been handling this for the last week and a half. This was three months ago. Uh, the boy is over, all the, over everything now. Uh, we've uh, had him over well, here. The general public is not over now. it. Um, Oh, okay. you, and I, you and I are done talking about this topic. Uh, maybe if you whoa, want to know your uh, whoa, whoa, listen up, you Captain. This is how this okay, is going to yeah. go. Okay, the Definitely. people have questions and they expect. There you go. He hung up. Yeah, that's uh, Captain Carson. No, Captain Campbell. Campbell. Captain Campbell. Campbell. At Kent the, uh, Campbell. Yeah, I thought it was Kit Campbell, but anyway, it's Captain Campbell for sure at the Indian County uh, Sheriff's Department, and his number was played at the beginning. That's his direct line. Um, Lady Justice put a call in to the undersheriff after being hung up on. Um, certainly, the people are not um, over it uh, just We've because he um, invited them in for a little playtime with the uh, chopper and everything, um, even if uh, the boy feels better about it. Uh, here at People's School, we still have a lot of issues with this call, and we would like the 911 um, call. We would like the body cam footage. We um, still haven't even gotten the, the actual date of it. Or and the most incident in, number. Yeah, or the incident number. And most importantly, what is the crime, right? Because like uh, Rice Crispy was saying, um, where this officer can be held accountable is on the policy violation. If that was a consensual conversation or not, what crime was he investigating? 
you know, and the captain wants to uh, run in circles and hang up. So obviously they're trying to cover up. They've been getting a lot of calls. That's good. We need to keep that up. But like El Presidente said, keep them focused, um, you know, because we do want action on this. Yeah, yeah.